So the second aspect around credibility by association I'd like to, uh, to cover is more around partnership. Now traditionally when we thought of things like joint venture partnerships, there were, there were expressions which commonly were two big brands coming together, creating a brand new legal entity. But actually I think uh, when people talk in terms of JV now, they're talking uh, less formal. It could just be a collaboration on a project. It could be um, combining services and taking a route to market. Uh, it's not necessarily about the formality of legal entities, but it's about collaboration and being seen with the right brands. And why would you want to do this? Well, look, if you are uh, a, a brand which is very much focused in the accountancy profession, for example, but you've got a product which is transferable to other industries, let's say the legal profession, it might be that your route to market is through people who are already talking to lawyers. Um, already established in this marketplace and that's a perfect way of maybe taking that product. It could be that those partners have an opportunity within accounting so there could be mutual gain just by collaborating in this particular aspect. Of course the benefits are obvious. Um, reach within an audience, credibility within an audience without even having to go and establish yourself and prove yourself uh, are obvious things but again it really comes down to the approach. So the first thing is identify who those people are. The second is actually how you approach them. It's really, really important. I'll give an example of this. Uh, as, a, as a brand, we support small business owners across the UK, and we build benefits to help small business owners and entrepreneurs grow. Now, the way we reach out, we work with big household names, and we, we find huge savings. It used to be that it was an introduction that had this, or you'd meet them at another event. Well, actually, the world has changed now, and your, your approach can be a lot less formal as long as you've got the credibility when they come and actually see who's making the inquiry in the first place. And Twitter has actually been a very powerful tool for us. But for you it may not be that. Uh, you may have to set an appointment. You might need an introduction from somebody who's influential. Remember coming back to the first point of people and influencers and mentors. Uh, so think about what the approach should be. 